Hello and welcome to my SIG tutorial. It is for beginners, so if you are not good at Photoshop, it is okay. I will um, go with you step by step in this tutorial. And if you have any troubles, please comment and I will try to reply immediately. Now, to begin, in order to begin this tutorial, we start with two C4Ds, which are these, and one stock or render. I chose a Mighty Way render from My Chemical Romance, you probably know him. Now, in order to start, we make a new canvas, and we make it 400 by 100 and then press OK. Now you have either a white background or transparent, it doesn't really matter. Now open up your stock and with the move tool, which is right here where I'm clicking, you move that stock over to there, to here on your canvas. Now you can exit this if you want. Now, see it will leave empty spaces at the side. If yours is transparent and not white background, then choose the smudge tool. You cannot see the smudge tool. It is either the blur tool, tool or the sharpen tool. Right click on those and then select the smudge tool. Smudge the white out to the right to the side. Smudge it to the side. Now, if you don't have a white background on your stock, then just smudge out the edges. Now, if you have any other colors that are not going with the white, like this gray, for example, does not go with the white, then you can erase it if you want to. And replace it with white. Now you have a clean white background. Now, select your C one of your C4Ds. I will choose this one. Now, as like moving the render, move the C4D to the signature. Now, you see it's kind of too big. If it's too big, then press Sertle and T. And then maximize your set canvas and then resize it to whatever you want. Make it flow and erase unwanted parts. Just if see this part is unwanted, so it move it around a bit to whatever you enjoy best that goes with the stock flow. Now get out your other C40. Now again it's a big one. Just use the move tool to move it to the canvas. and then resize it like before. Press Sertle T if you forgot. Well, that's big. If it's too, too big, move it until you see a corner of that box, like that, that corner box. Minimize it. Till it also goes with flow. Okay, I'm just resizing it a bit. Resizing, resizing. Okay, now I made it into a really small one. Apply it. If you don't know how to apply a transformation, just pick another tool, but don't use it, of course, and it'll put an immediate pop-out box saying, do you want to apply this transformation? And then click apply. So you've got that already. Now, 
like usual, make a new layer and then pick out your gradient tool. If you don't see your gradient tool, um, go to your paint bucket tool and right click it and then pick the gradient tool. Now get this tool, the spectrum tool. If you can't find it, go, go on the right arrow right there and then click spectrum. Now I'm, I'm going to use this. Now as, like always, gradient it. If you don't know how to gradient it, just drag like that. But, but set your settings first on linear gradient, which is there, where I click. And then gradient it. Now, you see it's covered, but do not worry. Get your erase tool, and then get a soft brush, maybe .45, and erase where your focal point is supposed to be. A focal is your stock, stock's main, like, like it's a head or something, or in short, your stock area. Now you've erased it. Low, now we're gonna learn about blending and opacity. They are in the layers palette, which is that, this palette. Now, lower the opacity to 35% and you'll see that it goes like that. Now, pick out a brush tool that is like small or you can get out splatter brushes if you have them but I will use point two hard, um, round hard brush and then pick out purple or pink color or something like that. Any color you like, which is bright light. Now, brush dots with flow. We're going to go like this. No, actually, take that. And brush it with flow. Erase things that you don't really want to be part of the of the sink and brush with flow as always. Now you can add text or whatever you want to this sink. If you're going to add text, then get out the rectangular marquee tool, which is right beside the move tool. Now to use it, it's just like gradient. You just put it and make a square drag drop and that makes a square now fill it with white go to edit and fill okay press circle d to deselect and then put it on lighten or soft light now then put the text on it Whatever you want, I'm going to choose, um, super, and can change to whatever I want. Now, there is your SIG. Um, thanks for listening to the SIG tutorial. Hope you like it. See you next time.